Shalom Alehem. Peace be today. I am Messenger Daniel. This is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Invite you to listen to that great FM.com every Sunday from 3 to 4 p.m. Shalom Alehem. Peace be today. Shalom Alehem. Peace be today. To all my fellow Israel brothers and sisters, to all the viewers, and to all the listeners who are on the four corners of the earth, Shalom Alehem to you. Peace be today. Shalom, peace be today. May Abba Yahweh bless you and be with you. I thanks Abba Yahweh to bring me in that great FM.com. As always declare and always proclaim, it's always be a blessing to be in the land of the living. You always be in the presence of my people, children of Israel. I thanks Abel for the privilege, for the blessing to wake me up this morning, not even to wake me up this morning, but also to drive me safe in that great FM and that car. My brother Big Mac is in the house. Thanks Abel Yahweh for him. And to all of you who are on the four corner of the earth, may Abel Yahweh be with you. And may Abba bless you. There is so many confusions among those religious leaders. Today, as they skip to declare that there is a lot of people who think they are living on the lights when they're still living on the darkness. Shalom. What is the difference between the old covenant and the renew covenant? Do you still live in the time of motion? If yes, can anyone can justify by the law of Moses? If yes, then why millions of our brothers and sisters die on the wilderness of a 3,500 years ago? Are we a belief in the witness of motion? And the prophets and the book of Psalm. If we are believe on the Moses, we believe on the prophets. And we believe on the book of Psalm. Why there is so many confusions? Why there is so many deceptions? Why everyone wants to go their own way and step up to follow the word of Abba Yahweh? Can the blood of a chicken, bulls, goat, cow, and turkey can take away sin of people who should do all? The answer would be no. Can anyone can forgive their sin by obeying the law of Moses? 
or to say the feast of atonements, to obey them and Ibu and we say Yom Akipoim. Atonement gates mean Yom Akipoim. Yom Kippur. Did there is a place on the scriptures with the credit? Messiah is the end of the law. How many people who declare that they know Abba Yahweh, but they deny Abba Yahweh by the actions according to the way they live their lives? I went to the book of women, 10 chapter, verse 3. We have a passage that is emissions turned by a ministry, a self proclaim praise, a gospel of prosperity. They are confused. Those gospel of prosperity preachers, those elders, and those ministers has nothing to do with Abba Yahweh. That's the reason why they told you the Sabbath day has been done away or not to a cause. To the commandments has been done away without no evidence, no proof, no validation. Apostle Shaul declared it almost 2,000 years ago. First, the son in 5, chapter verse 21. Test and prove all things. And all fast to what is good. If we are living on the time of motion, why are people asking for forgiveness of sin? Only people who can be justified by according to the law of Moses. Never even one. Second Timothy 2 chapter verse 6 indicated. All the scriptures is inspired by Abba Yahweh. Not some. All scriptures is inspired by Abba Yahweh. To teach us when you are drifted, when you are doing something wrong, the scripture teach us to do what is right. When we are drifted from the world of Abba Yahweh, the scripture teach them, teach us how to live a righteous life. Back today, men doesn't care about the scriptures. Two thousand years ago, the book of Romans 10, chapter 54, this is Apostle Saul, they trusted his name in English, mean Paul, 10, chapter 54. For Messiah Shua is the end of the law. For righteousness to everyone. That have effect on the surface of Messiah Shua. Be happy. As Messiah Shua for everyone are to be right with Abu Yahweh, they have to have faith in Yahshua Amashia. There is those Jewish people that do not believe in Yahshua Amashia, they will check Yahshua. There is so many of black Hebrew Israelites also. They will say Yahshua Amashiach. Many believe Mr. Yahshua came to do away and abolish or nerd the commitment into the cross. And based on part of what they tell them, Paul, a woman, 10 chapter verse, we declare it. What they skip to declare might be surprise you. The Apostle Saul declared almost 2,000 years ago that Messiah Sua has already accomplished the purpose of the Lord. 
the purpose what the Lord was giving to the of Israel. As a result, all who have faith in Yahshua Amashiach make rise with Abba Yahweh. It's in carefully. Woman 10 chapter verse with the credit. For Messiah Yahushua, not the blood of the teaching, not to obey Yom Akip Wim, or Yom Kippur, or Atom and Day. It's the end of the Lord, Yahshua Amashiach. The Lord lead to Messiah Yahushua. If you think you still living on the end of the law, that means you are under the curse. Listen carefully to those over here to hear. I will one of your deaf here today. Apostle Saul was a member of the Son of a member of the Pharisees. Before it's not believed in Yahshua, because Son Adrian was rejected Yahshua 100%. But Paul found favor in the sight of Mr. Ashua on the way of Damascus. Mr. Ashua chose Apostle Shaul to be his servant. Now you have to go against those Pharisees, the teacher of the law, 2000 years ago. When Paul went to Rome, he declared it for Mr. Ashua is the end of the law. The law led to Mr. Yahushua. And his purpose is fulfilled and Messiah Yahushua. For God takes righteousness to everyone who affect not those who accept him. And Messiah Yahushua has saved you. Those Jewish people don't believe in Yahshua Hamashiach. Some of the black Hebrew Israelites doesn't believe in Yahshua Amashiach. Even there we should be a young people, a young Akibuin, or a Tremendi. If you don't believe in the law, do is Yahshua Amashiach. I can one of you can receive forgiveness. It is impossible. In the verse 5 on the book of Women 10, chapter. For concerning the righteousness that is in the law of Moses, come the man who does that things will live by them. There is 613 laws. There is 10 commandments. They are not the same. Many of you perhaps have been confused between the Ten Commandments and the 613 laws. It's just like the United States Constitutions are different with the law of Congress. Congress enforce the law. The more we are sent against is the more Congress enforces the law. But the Constitution itself cannot be default. It cannot be enforced. It's just that the Ten Commandments of Abel cannot be enforced or default. My friends, if any one of you believe in Moses, you are believe on the prophets. You I believe on the son. I can you reject Yahshua Amashiach. How come you still believe we are living on the law of Moses in order to obey Yom Akipuim? Did there is a place on the scripture? Or you get the three times in a year. Not including the 52 Sabbath a year. There's a place on the scripture. As they get three times in a year, all men, all flesh must appear before me, not empty ended. On the place I have already chosen to put my name, that was in Yahweh Shalahim, Omen Yahweh, city of peace. 
If we believe on the book of Moses, you are not a bunch of hypocrites or blind. Was in the time of the Pharisees in Messiah's short time. How come we still believe a bird or turkey or a bird of goat or chicken can forgive your sin? How can you still believe some of you about the Jewish people still waiting for a second coming of the Messiah? I mean, the first coming. They even know he is coming already. They're still waiting. Because they are stupid and dumb. In the book of prophet Jeremiah, who? Jeremiah. Abba Yahweh. Those who want to know you, let them know you. Those who want to learn about you, let them know about you. As you always declare, many are called, but only few will be chosen. In the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31, 31, declare it. The days are coming, declare Abu Yahweh, when I will make a winning covenant with the people of Israel and with the, with the people of Israel. Why? The day is coming, which day? Behold, the days are coming, declare Abba Yahweh. And I shall make a renew covenant, not a new, a renew, which will already exist with the house of Israel. Why Abba declare in the book of Jeremiah 31 31 to those blind leaders who are on the four corners of the earth? If you reject once, you should reject all. Because all the prophet was inspired by Abba Yahweh, not by men, not by Holy Ghost, but by Abba with the Holy Spirit. Abba Yahweh is not the author of confusion. Why he chose to give us a second opportunity? Because he found on the first covenant there is some fault. Because no one can obey even one without the spirit. That is the main reason today. Most of you might be understand, and you don't. In order to understand, you must have Yahshua's spirit. Without Yahshua's spirit, you can learn nothing. You are taken, you know. You cannot know. And verse 32 is what Abba will declare. This renewed covenant, I will not, you will not be like the one I made with the ancestors. That means in the time of Moses, he was give you a piece of paper. Even he was writing with Abraham, but that was physical. But now, besides what come, he make a window because no one can able to even keep or obey even one of the commandments. If I were declared it in Jeremiah 31 32, this renew covenant will not be like the ones I made with the ancestors when I took them by the ends and brought them out of the land of Mizraim. The brook. The only one thing you have to be if every day is spirit that God will lead you, inspire you, and reveal to you the truth, and let the truth set you free. But many people today they say to the Jewish people, they say they declare the Jewish people are fake. How can they can fake? That means the Jehovah Witness are fake also. The Christians people are fake. They claim who they are. If I were declared it, you will not give the children of Israel, not black Hebrew Israelites or the Jewish people, even the covenant just that you always give to our ancestors. 
the day it took them by the ends of bring them out of the land of Mizraim, my covenant which they broke, also I was a husband to them, declare Abba Yahweh. Take a deep breath. How many of our ancestors on the wilderness 2,500 years ago who obey even one of the Ten Commandments? How many of them even obey one of the six or the 13 laws? If anyone can be justified according to the law of Moses, they will watch this. They don't need to ask you. If anyone can survive, can justify, make righteous without Yahshua Amashiach, this is how we're not going to be coming to teach us how to live. Not even one person, we are talking about over five million our brothers and sisters who live in the land of Mishraim, about opening up the Red Sea. Only of them who enter the promised land of the five millions. Why did not enter the promised land? What is the problems? Why did not even see the promised land? Even Moshe himself, I will say, Moshe, I will show you the promised land. Because you sin against me, you cannot enter to it. I will show it to you. Because of disobedience. If anyone can be justified according to the law of Moses, our ancestors will be saved, but they don't. In verse 33, but this is a renew covenant, a renew, not a new, a renew covenant. I will make with the house of Israel, not to the Jewish people or to the black Hebrew Israelites. Like it or don't like it, it is what it is. The truth always right. But the truth must be revealed. When I declare in the book of Jeremiah 33, 23, but this is a renewal covenant, not the first one, a second one. The first one was absolute. I will make with the people of Israel. In those days, declare Abba Yahweh. I will put my commitment deep within them. That's spiritual. And I will work them on the mind. That's spiritual. It's not physical. I will be the father and they will be my people. If you understand exactly what I will declare to you, proclaim to you today, there's going to be no confusions. Darkness cannot lead darkness. Listen, I will explain to you what he said to you. Jeremiah 23, 23. But this is the renew covenant. I will make with the house of Israel, not to the Jewish or not to the black Hebrew Israelite. In those days, declare Abba Yahweh, I will put my commitments, I will put what? My commitments deep within them. That's spiritual, that's not physical. And I will write. My commitments and the mind that also is spiritual is not the same Moshe who is declared to them that they are broken because they can't. And they will be my people, and I will be my father. I will be their father. That means when I will declare that I will put my commitments in the mind. I will write my commitments and the mind that's spiritual. Moses gives you something on the flesh. When Messiah saw his comments, it changed things from physical to spiritual. 
That means, according to the book of Jeremiah 23, 23, if you do not have his spirit, you do not belong to him at all, whatsoever. That makes sense to you? I will put my commandments in the mind. I will write them in the mind. That means spirit. I will put them deep inside of you. It's not the same as Moshe, which declared to our ancestors. Me and Moshe have the same mission, but in different ways. Physical and spiritual is too different. Many of you perhaps seconds because you are black. No. It's about your skin color. If to those who have faith in Yahshua Amashiach, to those who act as Yahshua as the Messiah, the Savior, King of Shalom. But this is the covenant, the winning covenant. I will make with the house of Israel declare of Yahweh in those days. I will put my commandments in the mind, spiritual, not as Moses. Moses don't put them in the mind. And inscribe them on the mind. And I will be their father, and they will be my people. In order for Abel to be your father, to be Isabel, you have to have spirit. Remember, Romans 8, chapter 8 declared it. Flesh and blood cannot please Abu Yahweh. So if you lead by the flesh, just like those people today, they cannot please Abu they please themselves. They please others. But they cannot please Abu Yahweh. Because, according to the scripture, if you understand carefully, as Apostle Saul declared almost 2,000 years ago, in the book of 1 Corinthians, 14 chapter 33. Abba Yahweh is not the author of confusions, but of Shalom and all the congregation of the children of Israel. In the time of Moshe, there is no confusion among the children of Israel. There's always be heresy. There's always be bad apple on the middle of the apples. But Moses was always go according to the word of Abba Yahweh. Don't go against the quint. As Prophet Amos 3, chapter 3 declared it. Two cannot work together unless they agree in the same direction. Today is our link. Okay, a person can tell me, you are a servant of Yahweh, as they say, it's an of God, it's an of Satan. And you will say, it's what? I don't believe that. Something is missing on the puzzle. If you keep on looking deep down inside, and you always see the difference between darkness and light. But this shall be the winning covenant, declare Abba Yahweh. I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declare Abba Yahweh. I will put my commandments in the mind. It's something you cannot see. But when Moses was given the children of Israel, the Ten Commandments were written by Abel Finger, you will see it. Now it's spiritual. I will inscribe them, inscribe them, inscribe my calling and their mind. And I will be their father, and they will be my people. That means, according to the book of John 4, chapter verse 24, if Abel is a spirit, flesh cannot be a student of Abba Yahweh. In order for you to become a student of Abba Yahweh, you must be to transform in the spirit. That means you have to have a spirit inside of you. It's his word. The word is a spirit. Abba Yahweh itself is a spirit. Today, when you are confused, they think because they are black. Uh -uh. Because they change of the name. There is lack to learn. I don't go to school. It's a gift of Abba Yahweh to me. In verse 34, they declared it. And there will no need to teach the neighbors, nor will they need to teach their relatives, saying, you shall know Abba Yahweh. For everyone, from the least to the greatest, 
we know me on with the decay of Yahweh. Mm. I will forgive the sin. I will forgive the and the weakness. And I will never again remember the sin. The law. If we take the book of Jeremiah 31, 34, and it's saying carefully to those who still believe a blood of turkey, a goat, a chicken, a bulls, then forgive your sin. Listen carefully. Jeremiah 31, 34. Are you sure you believe on the prophets? Or in Moshe? Or on the book of some? I don't think so. No one of you believe on the bush. It's which I'm, maybe you can blind, you cannot read. About those who love you, Abba, I will open up the eyes, please. Of him. Listen carefully. The prophecy of Abiyahweh in the book of Jeremiah 31 34. This is not Jeremiah's word. It is my either. It's Abiyahweh. It's by his prophets. It's servant. The children of Israel will not need to teach their neighbors, nor will they need to teach their relatives. Saying, You shall know Abiyahweh for everyone, everyone. From the least to the greatest. We know me already declare Abiyawi. So that means when my spirit is upon you, whether you're small or great, everyone of you will know me already because they see the differences between darkness and light. And I will forgive their weakness. And I will never again remember their sin. Let's take a deep breath. If the blood of chicken or the law of Moses, anyone can justify, well, I will say, I will forgive their weakness and I will forgive their sin no more. I will remember the sin no more. Many of you, perhaps, today, thinking you can forgive your sin according to the blood of Turkey. No. It is Abu Yahweh. Who provide the sun to light the day and the moon and start to light in the night and we steer the sea into warring waves Abel is named is in paradise and this is what Abel has declared one second let's go further the book of Acts said something Acts 13, chapter verse 39, I declare that. True, Messiah Yahushua, not to the book of the chicken, a boat, but true, Messiah Yahushua. Everyone, everyone who affect not believe, because believe and faith is two different words. It's as if you have effect, if you have faith, smaller as the mustard seed. They don't say if you believe, smaller as the mustard seed. It would not. Acts 13, chapter verse 39, declared it. True, Messiah Yahushua. True, Messiah Yahushua. Not to the young people. Not to the Atomende. Not to the blood of chickens or goats or bulls or chickens or whatsoever it is. But true, Messiah Yahushua. Not by obey a keeper win. Not by obey young people. Not by keeping celebration of men. The true Messiah Yahushua. Everyone, not who believe, but those who have faith, is justified from everything. From everything. You could not be justified by the law of Moses, my friend, by keeping Yom Akipoem or Yom Kippur or Atom and Day. Might be a drop of chicken or turkey. I see, there is a term, Yom Akipurim. I see on Facebook a Jewish who take a turkey, a chicken, who spread the blood in his head. Hello, that's Kabbalah. That's not Abu Yahweh. I'm sorry. The truth gonna hurt. But that's why Abu Yahweh can be here. If we read the scripture, we understand carefully 
the book of Acts 13, chapter 39, look at that. All to Messiah Yahushua, all to Messiah Yahushua. Everyone, everyone, no exception, black, purple, yellow, pink, silver, whatever you are. Everyone, you don't say black. You don't say you have to speak Hebrew, no. It say everyone, everyone mean everyone, period. Who affect the keyword is faith. Who acknowledge Messiah Yahushua. Who affect, not even affect, you acknowledge only Messiah Yahushua. As your Savior. The flesh and Messiah Yahushua is your Savior. As follow Messiah Yahushua. Testify and declare of deeds of sin or to which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. Negate of sin can be justified by the law of Moses. Acts 10, chapter verse 3 to declare that, that all the prophets testify about Messiah Yahushua. So if you are a servant of Abba Yahweh and you go against the grain, something is that wrong. Never see any prophets go against the grains. Let's sit down with Abba Yahweh and along with Satan at the same time. It is impossible. Remember, the book of Acts 10, chapter verse 42, they get that. All the prophets testify about Messiah Yahushua. All the prophets, not some. All the prophets, all the prophets. Don't read my lips with the scripture. All the prophets. So today, those prophets don't base according to the word of Abu Yahweh, their own words. So which prophet they are? I don't have to tell you. You know. That everyone who affect a Messiah Yahshua receive forgiveness of sin. Everyone. Who do what? Who affect a Messiah Yahushua receive forgiveness of sin. So, suppose these those black Hebrew Israelites or the Jewish people, they do not acknowledge Yahshua as the Savior. Even they are saved but Yom Akipoem or Yom Kippur or Atomende, who will atone for the sin. Who will forgive them for their sin? If the scripture is right, that's only one way. I am a liar because I am a living witness. Apostle Saul keep on going. Remember, Saul was a member of San Adrian. He was never at a Yeshua Amashiach. But I will choose him. Now I will transform him as a different person, give him spirit. Now he go against the Pharisees, the teachers of the laws in its time. The book of Romans 3, chapter verse 20. Therefore, no one, no one, don't read my lips again with this scripture. Romans 3, chapter verse 20, declared it. Therefore, no one will be justified and I'll be our sight. By obey or by the work of the law. For the law simply show us a sinful people we are. Are we there? Let me try to give you an audio translation. Maybe it's not be easy for you. For no person will be justified free of guilt and declare righteous in our sight by obeying the work of the law. For through the law, we become conscious of sin. If there is no law, there is no sin. If there is no commitment, there is no transgressions. And the recognitions of sin Dial us toward repentance, but provide no remedy for sin. 
I'll tell you all this. It might be too deep for you. Romans 2, chapter verse 20. Therefore, no one will be justified and have a sign by the work of the law. For the law simply to us a sinful people we are. That's why you are people we mean. That's mean. There is a two things. There is something they call heroism. And there is something they call white out. Some of you perhaps might be thinking there's no differences. Yes, that's the difference. The white out is people who make a mistakes, but who refuse to correct their mistakes. But the errors, that's the same way when you go to kindergarten, they give you a pencil because they know you're going to make mistakes. In order for you to able to correct your mistake, you get to erase them. Many of you today might be understand who is Yeshua Amashiach. I will declare to you today to those who are still living on darkness, it's not by my mind, it's not by my power, it's by the rule of how could they declare Abba Yahweh. Yeshua Amashiach is your Ewisher. Your sin can be erased, can be forgiven only to the blood of Yeshua Amashiach. Otherwise, you can see what you are keep with him all you want. You can see with all the feasts and this world, that doesn't mean you are qualified to enter the kingdom of Abu Yahweh. For no person will be justified, free of guilt, and declare righteous in the sight of Abu Yahweh by trying to do the work of the law. 613 law. Any man who live by them, obey them, must build up them. I will leave back them? No. No one. For through the law, we become conscious of sin. That means the law reveals to us how sinful people we are. Without the law, we don't know we are sin. But because of the law, we reveal to us how wicked we are. And the recognition of sin directs us to repentance, to our repentance. But provide ends, no remedy for sin. That means, by ends, and one day you fast in the way you want, and you think, I'm not going to descend to you. No. You're fasting when quarrels fighting between one another. You can put me down, go ahead. And, uh, but no matter what, but a bear word can never put down. You can kill the messenger, but you can, the truth is hurt. Declare that truth. Always, always, the branch of the righteous before a bear No one. That means, for no person, no living person on the face of the earth, righteous or justified in your presence. Not even one. But those pastors, those rabbis, the tank, just that like the Pharisees in the time of Messiah, the tanks, those elders, the tanks, they are righteous. They think they justify in the sight of Abraham. Hell no. You don't. Remember, the book of Romans twists up the West Indicator. As it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. Not even what? One. I found a favor in this side of Abu Yahweh. We all born as a sinner. We all fought to the steam of Abu Yahweh. But the only one way to have a mercy is to Yahshua Amashiach. Not to the book of chicken. Not turkey. Not a kippurim. Not a Tom and Day. Uh -uh. Be well. Woman twist up the vest. As it is written, that Apostle Saul, a member of the first Sanhedrin, a Pharisee, a member of the Pharisees, declared that to you today. You see the differences when the transformations from physical to spiritual? Paul was in a physical realm, 
when he was in Sanhedrin. I was asked to blind Paul to give me spiritual vision, spiritual mind. Now he can go against those who don't admire Yahshua Hamashiach. As it is written, therefore, there is not one righteous, not even one. Paul is in the world, except because he's in the flesh. But today, many of you take into born as a righteous, as Messiah has declared it. And I come to come the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Not by atonement day, it's to Yahshua Mashiach. The book of Galatians, 2 chapter verse 16 declared it. Know that a man is not justified by the work of the law of Moses. No one. No one. But by faith. By what? Not by belief. Not by the blood of chicken. Not by the blood of turkey. A bowl or goat. When there is no high priest on the face of the earth no more. But by, the, by faith of Yeshua Mashiach. So we too. We too have faith in Messiah Yahushua. He talking about himself. We too. We too. We have faith. That means we have faith. Paul never said, but you are keeper with Paul never celebrates Yom Kippur. If we are to find Messiah Yahushua, or me tell Messiah Yahushua, observe it and keep Yom Kippur. If you have that verse, be show it to me. And I'll shut my mouth. May Abba be the truth in all men as a bunch of liars. Remember, Galatians 2, chapter verse 16. Know that. A man is not justified by the work of the law, but by faith and Messiah Yahushua. So we too, but say we too are as the followers, as the disciples of Messiah Yahushua, we have faith in Messiah Yahushua. And not by the work of the law, because a Messiah Yahushua work of the law, no one will be justified. If anyone Live according to the law of Moses. 613. You can't even obey one. <laughs> You're about 613. No one will be justified. Today, blind men thinking they can receive forgiveness of sin by obeying Yom Akipuin. A servant of Abel cannot be disobey Abel Yahweh. If you have a spirit, you have to lead by spirit. I'm going to lead you, not you going to lead yourself. Let me observe the first chapter, verse 17. Can mankind be righteous before Abba Yahweh? Can a man that the son is doing thinking there was righteous before Abba Yahweh? They don't even realize that Abba Joshua was Yahweh in the flesh. They disrespect him just like today because he never went to San Jose school. Job, first chapter verse 17. Can any man, can mankind be righteous before Abba Yahweh? Can a man be pure before Abba Yahweh is maker? No. But many of you think you can make yourself pure. Many of you think you can justify yourself by the tip of atonement, by a blood of chicken or a turkey or a goat, whatsoever it is. No, only by the blood of Yahshua. Can what I meant be boys or be for Abu Yahweh? No. Or be more righteous than Abu Yahweh? Hell no. Can a man pure before Abu Yahweh? It's maker. Be more cleansed than Abu Yahweh. Most of you take in today. Just like the Jewish people, they think they're more cleansed, they're more righteous. The black people who are some of them, the elders, take in the same way too. Why? Come before destructions. Job 9, chapter verse 2. Ending. I know that this is a true. But how can a person be declared innocent before Abu Yahweh? Hello. That's Job speaking. Asking question. Why is Job declared in the book of Job 9, chapter verse 2? Indeed, I know that this, this is true. But how can a person be declared innocent before Abu Yahweh? Which way? By obey his commandments. 
in verse 3, if someone want to take in Abba to court, will it be possible to answer Abba Yahweh? Even once in a thousand questions. Hello? Anybody understand? It's going to be very hard to understand. Can anyone on earth answer Abba Yahweh? On time, out, one time out of thousand of questions. If you call Abba in the court, are you going to do it? My friends, the times is clicking. We have more to go to. But the problem is almost 2,000 years ago, Apostle John the Baptist declared on the book of John, first chapter, verse 29. Listen carefully, please. The next day, Yohanan 129, John 129 declared it. The next day, John saw Messiah Shua coming toward him and declared, Look, the Lamb of Abba Yahweh will take away the sin of many. This is the Lamb of Abba Yahweh. You don't say, Yom Kippur. The sin of Abba Yahweh, your sin, yes, you. The Lamb, not 30. The Lamb, almost 35 hundred years ago, that was symbolic to Yeshua. It was a physical Lamb. They was killed. Now, Yeshua sacrificed once for all. That's why he fulfilled the sacrificial law for sin, for atonement day. He is the atonement for you. Today, many are called, but only few are chosen, but no one understands it. People try to call themselves. I don't call myself where I am today. That's why I'm not ashamed to call upon Yahweh. And to call Yahushua to declare the good news to his people. I want every one of you to listen to this. Maybe you can understand what's going on today. To those who still living on darkness, thinking they are living on light, listen carefully. The Abiyah will open up your eyes. 2,000 years ago, before the Pharisees, before the teacher of the law and the Sadducees, in the book of Yohanan, the book of John, 5, 7, verse 45. Besides the credit to, to the Pharisees, the teacher of the law, today, the same statement making for every single person, especially those leaders who are living on the face of the earth. But do not think I will accuse you before Abba Yahweh, the Father. Your accuser is Moses and whom you will accept. Listen carefully. The same way as I will declare to the Pharisees, to the teachers of the law, today I stand before every one of you as a servant of our to declare to you. The same way as I will declare to the Pharisees, to the teachers of the law. Yes. Yet it is not. I will accuse you before the Father of Yahweh. Moses will accuse you. Moses is whom you have put your hope on it. In verse 46, if you really have faith, believe in Moses, you will believe me because Moses wrote about me. If Moses, the prophet and son, Testify about Messiah Yahushua. Why is so blind in the mind of the Jewish people or the black evil Israelite or those Christian people, the Muslim people, not to refuse to believe and the only one savior, the only way is Yahshua Amashiach. Do I declare to you today? The land of Abel the descent of those who have faith in him. For if you were believe in the what Moses declare, you will have believed me. For Moses was concerning me. And in verse 47, see that teacher. I want you to listen carefully to those 
those hypocrites who don't even know about Moshe or the prophets, but Mr. Yahshua itself. All the scripture is testified about Yahshua Masik. As his servant, I have to go according to his written, to what is declared from his word. His word has to be there. There is so many blind leaders, you must be sit down and listen to the word of Abba Yahweh. There is no feast of tabernacle, my friend. Just put it, sit back, lay down. If you want to challenge me, I'm going to be 76 210 to challenge you there. There's no feast of tabernacle. You don't even know what tabernacle is anyway. So don't listen to Yawashi. Yawashi will not save you. The book of John 5, the verse 47. But since you don't believe what Moses writes, I will believe what I say to you. If you don't believe in my word and Moses, that was my word, I aspire to Moshe. If you don't believe in Moshe, just like you today. Zakaha, what kind of name it is? I don't understand. My name is Daniel. This is my given name. I don't change my name. But if you believe not is Moses writing, also you believe my words. Because Moses wrote about me. In verse 48, listen carefully. I see so many blind leaders. They want to quote the scripture, but don't even know the meaning of Zachariah 14, verse 16 and 18. Do you ever understand? When you understand, you have the spirit. You contact me. Otherwise, if you are still on the flesh, don't. Because you do not know the word of Abba, my friend. But if you do not believe Moses' writing, I you will believe in my words. They start you today, hypocrites. You don't believe in Moses. In the, on the word of Yeshua. Verse 47. But since you don't believe what Moses' writing, I will believe in what I declare to you. You cannot believe what Mr. Ashua declared to you because you are believe in yourself. Remember, and he's saying carefully, we are not living on the law of Moses, my friend. When we are taking tabernacle, how many times Moses said with the face of tabernacle? How many times even King David himself at the end celebrates tabernacles? You don't even know what tabernacle is. How many of the prophets who celebrate tabernacles? Mr. Ashwa coming? He said three times in a year. Mr. Ashwa observed the Sabbath day every seven days of the week. And they show you every year his parents go to Yahushalayim to celebrate feasts of what? Pass of unleavened bread and first fruit three times in a year. Devour him 16 16. It start by quoting the scripture when you know nothing. And who is Yawashari? Who is Yawashai? Uchi? You don't even know. This is not English. This is not Igbo. Yahawashi is not Igbo. So when you're talking, knowing who you're talking to, don't never quote the scripture to me when you don't even know. What is the meaning of it? You don't understand that, my friend? I am a messenger of Daniel, a messenger of Abu Yahweh. I don't choose myself to be here. I stop deceiving my people, Israel, by changing your name, by following the Jewish fables. I do not follow no man. I follow Yahweh, God. I base on the, the Torah, not Tarnot, not Kabbalah, not man made teaching. But I base because I led by the Spirit. My friends, when you do not know, there is no feast of tabernacle. There is no feast of Yom Akipurim. Besides what coming, he has turned one for me. It might be not for you. Because no one, maybe you don't understand. No one can justify according to the law of Moses. Six or the thirteen. You cannot save by your feast of tabernacle. Tabernacle is the temple of Abiyah. We cannot worship the temple of Abiyah, but it's the spirit. 
Don't quote Zakaria 14 chapter 2. You don't even know what is the meaning of it. I'm not a pastor. I am not a minister. I'm not an elder. I am Abiyahweh messenger. Appointed by him, equipped by him, sent by him, and revealed his word by him, not by myself. So stop nonsense. Drink the water, but knowing exactly the cup you drink the water. You can play with your elders, but don't play with messenger Daniel. You're not going good for you. So take it back, my friend. I think it's our way. Because there is too much to remember. This is what I say three times in a year. Passover, unleavened bread, and first fruit. Death of Messiah Yeshua, resurrection of Messiah Yeshua, and burial of Messiah Yeshua. For 20 years, 20 years, thank you, Abba Yahweh. I never follow no man. I follow Abba Yahweh. Because I follow Messiah Yeshua step three times after the seventh, fifty two Sabbath. Passover, first fruits, and unleavened bread. Do you get that, my friend? Abba, I thank you. The time is up for me now. Remember, Yom Akipurim, the bread of chicken, the feast of tabernacles or trumpets cannot bring you, draw you to Abu Yahweh. Those things doesn't exist. There is a law. Yahshua is a law. Woman, 10 chapter verse 4, Yahshua is the end of the law. Everyone must be justified according to Yahshua Amasiyah. The lamb will take away the sin of many. Abba Yahweh, I thank you for the opportunity, for the blessing, for the privilege to announce it, to declare to the people, and to those who are still living on darkness, they are worse than the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. And the time of Messiah, so I was working on the face of the earth. Abba Yahweh, I thank you to remove me from the darkness and to show me your way, to reveal to me the truth. And your only begotten son, Yahshua Amasiah. Remember, if everyone of you, a special Hakas person, if you believe in Moshe, you and the prophet, you believe in Jeremiah 31 31, the time will come when I make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Yahshua is your new covenant. Moses was given to you a physical, now I declare to you a spiritual. Only three Yahshua are Mashiach. Otherwise, you all will be perish. As Messiah declare, the book of Luke 13, chapter verse 5. Unless you all repent from your wicked ways, that is Yahshua, as king and savior, I will put in its right end to grant it repentance and forgiveness of sin to Israel, not to everyone of you. I thank you. May you please with your servants and to all those going to listen to this message. And to see how long they've been deceived and how long they've been lived in the darkness by obey the law when no man can justify unto the law. And you declared it. The time will come when you make a new covenant with the nation of Israel. That means we no longer live in a second to 30 nodes. We are living on the mercy seat on Yahshua Amashiach, on your mercy seat of Yahweh. And you are seat to forgive only Yahshua Amashiach, the blood which paid for me almost 2,000 years ago. May Abba bless you and be with you. May Abba Yahweh sanctify you. May Abba give his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you. May Abba lift his countenance upon you, give you shalom. Be shem, Yahshua Amashiach, the of Israel. Be shem, Yahshua Amashiach. I am, I am the only one, Daniel, Messenger Daniel. May Abba Yahweh be with you. I am Messenger Daniel. Until next time, say shalom alayhem. Peace be today. So that Rabbi Yahweh with much more love, blessing, and shalom. I see you next time. I am Messenger Daniel. Say thank you to listen to that with FM.com. And until next time, to shalom Alehem. Peace. Make it today. Yahweh will be my everything for me. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Not the blood of the chicken of a boat. Not young Archibald. Not Atom and <laughs> Oh, yes. I'm rejoiced. Thank you, Abiyawi. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Oz. 
Thank you, everyone of you. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Elia Azad. Thank you, everyone of you. Peace and shalom. Yahweh is supposed to be your everything, not your giveaway. Yahshua is the only way. The Lamb of the Abiyah will take care of the sin. Acts 5 31. To be continued. No matter where you are, enjoy. Good evenings, may Abi Yahweh lead everyone of you to repentance to know Yahshua. The light of I love everyone of you. Everything you are in it, your Yom Kippur, your Atonement Day, your Feast of Tabernacle, your Feast of Trumpet, the land, Yahushua. I am the way, the life, and the truth. No man go to my father, but accept me. Declare Yahshua, Messiah. John 14, 6. It's a beautiful when you dwell on the house of Abu Yahweh. Oh, yes. 